getting warm. It's freezing. Alexa, what's bubble and squeak? According to Wikipedia, bubble and squeak is a British dish made from cooked potatoes and cabbage, mixed together and fried. The food writer Howard Hillman classes it as one of the great peasant dishes of the world. The dish has been known since at least the 18th century, and in its early versions it contained cooked beef. By the mid-20th century the two vegetables had become the principal ingredients. Anyway, enjoy guys, thank you. How you doing guys? I hope you are well. Uh, bubble and squeak. B -b 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 -b. How you doing guys? I hope you are well. Bubble and squeak. Bubble and squeak, it's a, it's a silly name. Or to some people, bubble. And basically what it is, it's leftover veg. Leftover veg from your Sunday roast. And then uh, you cook it in a pan, get it all nice and crispy. It's all about the crust. Um, as long as it's got potatoes in it, then it's a bubble and squeak or cabbage. It's not really a recipe. Like I said, it's leftover veg. Um, so I'm sort of making it from scratch. The only thing I have left over are some potatoes, roast potatoes. And that's what I love in a bubble and squeak for some texture. I don't like mashed buds, um, which they're fine, but if it were me, roast potatoes. For a bubble and squeak, it's all about the crust. You need a non-stick pan for this, a non-stick pan, because if you don't cook it in a non-stick pan, you're gonna make your life miserable. I'm telling you. If you want to give it a go, recipe amounts are down below. Um, don't forget to subscribe, click that bell, and then select all. And um, that's it. Enjoy bubble and squeak, or some bubble. All right, mate, let's have some bubble. All right, thanks, guys. To make the bubble and squeak, first I'm going to be roasting some veg. Parsnip, carrot, onion and Brussels sprouts. My only leftovers are some roast potatoes. First add olive oil to the veg. Followed by salt and pepper. Mix. Now place in the oven and cook. I love cabbage in my bubble and squeak, so I'm going to boil some in salted water until tender, about three minutes. When cooked, take out and put to one side. Next, take out the cooked veg from the oven and roughly chop, but don't over chop. You don't want wet vegetables in your bubble and squeak, so pack dry the cabbage, roughly chop, and season. Next, grab a non-stick pan, trust me, this will make your life a lot easier. Add olive oil to the pan. Add the veg, followed by the roast potatoes. These give the bubble and squeak some great texture. Grab a masher and roughly mash. Add chopped parsley and stir in a medium heat for about 10 minutes. This just lets the vegetables melt together. Press down and neaten the edges with a spatula. Add olive oil around the edge, this will make it nice and crispy. Now fry for about 5 minutes, until the bottom is golden brown. After 5 minutes, grab a plate, turn over and cook for another 5 minutes. So 
so they have it, my delicious golden brown bubble and squeak. This goes fantastic with fried eggs or poached, gravy, cheese sauce, onion jam, mustard, piccalilli, I could go on. I personally just like to serve it with good old HP sauce. Give it a go, recipe amounts are down below. Thanks guys. Hello guys, thank you for making it to the end of the video. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. As you can see, there's some videos here that you might like related to the video I've just done, or there might not be. But what I want you to do is subscribe, like the video, click that bloody bell. Uh, you'll be doing me a favor. So uh, yeah, and enjoy some videos here. I've got, I've, I've got a few videos up here. So uh, just click on them and uh, enjoy. Thanks guys.